Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up an Ecobee smart camera. So this is a Wi-Fi smart camera that's going to allow you to control it and view the video from your phone. So we're going to go ahead and you want to download the Ecobee app if you haven't done so already. It's the same app that the Ecobee thermostat and other Ecobee devices work on. So download the app, set up a username and password, and then just go ahead and open it up. Now here we are in the home screen and all we're going to do is go ahead and click on add a device here. Now we have a couple different options. We've got the thermostat, the switch, camera or sensor. So we're going to go ahead and choose the camera here. It says first let's secure your Ecobee account. So to use the camera we need to use two factor authentication. We're going to go ahead and click get started on that. It says enter your Ecobee password, so we just need to do that to verify our account. So let's go ahead and do that now. Once we enter our password, it says choose how to receive your verification code for two-factor authentication. We're going to go ahead and just click send me an SMS text. Then enter your phone number. Then we go ahead and click next. Now we enter the verification code that we just received. Then click done. Now it gives us a recovery code that we need if we get locked out of our account. I recommend you take a screenshot or save to your clipboard or write it down somewhere. We're going to go ahead and do that and then just click I've saved my code and click done. Now we go ahead and click done. It says two factor authentication is set up. Let's go ahead and click done again. Before we get started, have your Wi-Fi network name and password ready. Ensure your smart camera is within range of your Wi-Fi router so it is close by and plug in your smart camera to a power outlet. So now we're going to go ahead and get the Ecobee smart camera plugged in. There is a power cord in the box and it just plugs right into the back of the camera. So let's go ahead and do that now. We plug the camera in and you can see that it lit up. So let's go ahead and click OK, got it. It says prepare to connect your camera. Remove the blue protective film and ensure your camera is plugged in and the LED lights are glowing amber. They went from blue to green so we're waiting for amber before they're going to glow. So let's go ahead and we're going to pull that off. So let's see right now we've got it looks like a green so let's see if it will go to an amber color. All right, let's go ahead and click good to go. Now our EcoBeat device pops up on the app, so we're gonna go ahead and select that. Now we need to find our Wi-Fi network, so we're gonna go ahead and select the Wi-Fi network that we're going to connect to. Now we enter our password. Now we go ahead and click connect. Now we need to select the EcoBeat device down here. It says connection successful. Verifying your smart camera. This can take up to five minutes. Just a moment while we get things in order. Now we have two options. We can use it as a security camera or as a baby monitor. We're gonna use this one as a security camera so we select the top option. We're gonna go ahead and select this as back door. Then click save name. It says, will your camera be pointed out a window? It's nice that we have this option. It eliminates glare, but currently we're not going to use this at a window. So it says, do not use window mode. We're going to select that option here. It says, we'll let you know if anything should happen. Your Ecobee devices will notify you if anything requires your attention. Okay, got it. Now we need to update the camera. So go ahead and click begin update. It says updating. This may take up to five minutes. It says get access to all camera features with Haven. 30 day video camera storage, automatic recordings, and motion reports. We're gonna go ahead and just click get two months free and see what happens. It looks like if we do that, we're going to need to sign up for a subscription. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this. So once I X out of that, it takes me back to the home screen. It says your Ecobee smart camera has been added to your account. Let's go ahead and click show me my camera. All right, so you can see the camera is on the live view here. You can see my hand right in front of it. There's virtually no delay. So there is a subscription required if you wanna be able to store that video footage. 
However, for right now, we're going to go ahead and just leave it as it is without any video storage. However, you can always upgrade that at a later date. You can talk through this so it has two-way communication. You can record and you can even pan with this. So you can go like this, left or right, and it will actually show you a view that goes up and down as well. So there's a little bit of movement with that sensor in there, so you get even a larger field of view than you would anticipate from most normal smart cameras. You can even play a siren if you want. It's going to be very loud, so let's go ahead and we're gonna click stop on that. Now, if you wanna take a snapshot, you can. We're gonna click not right now on the two months free, but you can see that these two features are locked, record and snapshot. So if you want to be able to do that and get the most functionality out of your Ecobee thermostat, you're going to have to pay for that additional monthly monitoring. Now, if you want to sign up for that additional monthly monitoring, you can just click on the locked features and then go ahead and click on the get two months free. You're going to scroll down and then click sign up and get two months free. And here it shows you the different packages. So for an essential monitoring, which is $5 per month, you're going to get the recording and video storage for one camera. If you have the $10 a month camera package, then you can have an unlimited number of cameras at one address for $10 a month, which 30 days worth of video footage. I don't want to pay for that right now, so I'm going to click X out of there. And basically now our Ecobee smart camera has been set up. So it actually has a really high quality sensor and this is one of the more hefty video cameras or Wi-Fi video smart cameras that I've actually got my hands on. So it really feels well made and like a lot of thought and effort was put into this to make a high quality product. Now I haven't tested this out entirely yet. Look for a review. We'll put a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video on how to set up your Ecobee smart camera, please go ahead, give us that thumbs Thumbs up, subscribe, or click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.